let my nigga 21 tell it you a pussy. Spin a block twice like it ain't What's the deal, you guys? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today is Friday, August 12th. As I said in my last video, I wanted to try to increase my output just a little bit more, and that means like dictating more time in my day just to shoot little little bops, little videos for you, even if it's some short like today. Um, today, I actually wanted to shoot a video that I've been game planning on shooting just about all year long. Um, but I want to do a 2022 sneaker unveil, like unveil or reveal or just the shoes I caught this year. What shoes did I buy this year? Why did I buy them? When did I get them? What is there a story behind the shoes that I got? Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm not going to do this in any particular order, like worst to best or like favorite to like least favorite. I'm really just going to, I brought them downstairs from upstairs. So I'm going to just show you guys from the top of the pile to the bottom of the pile. I have one, two, three, four, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 10 pair of shoes to show you that I caught this year. I wouldn't classify myself as a sneakerhead by any means, just cause like, I like sneakers, I like shoes, but I'm not like a fiend, I, uh, I can't say that. I'm not a fiend to the point where I'll like do any and everything for shoes and I'm copying every single shoe. Like I don't really care for a lot, a lot of the shoes. I just buy shoes that I like, I buy shoes that I can afford, or if I get lucky, then I'll get shoes that I get lucky on. The first shoe I picked up this year was the Pollen Dunks. I picked these up early in the year. Um, I believe my dad won a raffle for these and I ended up buying them off him. Um, I believe, I think, I think that's when I got these from. Actually, no. When did I get these? Actually, I think my dad just won these in a raffle and then gave them to me. Something like that. Something along the lines of that. But the Pollen Dunks, as you guys can see here, I lace swapped them. They come with the yellow laces. Yellow laces are right here. Um, but I always lace swapped to white just because that's just like my thing. Um, fun fact, I actually, I got these shoes. Again, I got these from my pops. Um, I actually didn't like these shoes at first because I also had another pair of Jordan 1 Lowe's for like a brighter like mustard, mustardy yellow. Um, so I had two pair of yellow shoes. I'm like, yeah, I'm not really fucking with these, but I like this shoe a lot. The next shoe I copped this year, uh, was the Nike Dunks, the Paisley's. Um, and again, I have to always say this. These are the Paisley's, not the Pandas. These are everybody and their mama and their daddy and their auntie got the Pandas. Um, so my girl actually picked these up for me early in the year. I ended, I got her the pandas because she wanted the pandas. And then um, I told her I needed a black and white shoe and she ended up giving me the Paisleys. I'm glad she didn't give me the pandas because I probably would have just like used those as beaters or something like that. But Paisleys, I really like this shoe. I wear this shoe. I actually, I don't wear this shoe enough. I wore them golfing with my pops one day. Um, but I wanted to use these as beaters, but I just don't know how to use beaters. If, if I'm gonna wear beaters, I'm gonna wear Crocs. Like I'm not gonna wear, like you feel me? I'm not gonna wear sneakers like that when I'm just trying to like beat. Or that sounds kind of weird, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm not gonna wear I'm not gonna wear sneakers if I'm just trying to walk around like on some casual shit. And even if I do, I'm not gonna beat my sneakers to fucking Smith. Oh shit! I'm not gonna beat my sneakers to like Smithereens or something like that either. Um, so, Paisley's. So, the next two pair of shoes were actually birthday gifts for me. It's funny that I'm I have the first four pair of shoes I picked up this year were all like low key free, but whatever. It doesn't matter to me. So the next <laughs> the next pair of shoes I picked up were. The, the Jordan Horizon 5s. These, I'm a, if, okay, so for you guys that don't know, since we're still get, kind of getting to know each other a little bit, the Jordan 5 is my favorite Jordan. Like, if I were to rank all my favorite J's from like least to favorite, the 5 is my favorite shoe. I just love the shape, I love the style of the shoe. Jordan 5 is my favorite shoe. When I was in a sophomore in high school, um, I played basketball back in high school, my pops actually surprised me at a basketball game with um, a pair of 5s, my first pair of 5s. And stupid of me, I beat them shoes to fucking shit. But again, those are my, I used to hoop in them. Those are my, my, my favorite basketball shoes. I've only worn these once. These touched the earth one time. I wore them to the mall for 10 minutes and it came back home. So this is probably not my favorite pickup of the year. Again, the color is kind of different for me. These shoes are really hard to wear, especially with like, if you're trying to color match, I wear them with like black and like simple shit. But Jordan Vibes. So now we're going to get into colorful shoes, not colorful shoes, but like some of like my favorite pickups of like, again, these, these are some favorite pickups of mine. These like, I like these shoes, but these next one, two, three, four, five, or I'll show these first here before I get this. I also got some foam runners. So just to show you guys, I got foam, I got foamies, I got foamies. Do I wear them often? Yes and no. I don't really, I, they're really comfortable. So anyone who wants foam runners are really, really comfortable. I kind of prefer Crocs because they're easier to wear. You can just like slide Crocs on. You got to put these on like shoes. Um, so foams are dope. They're cool or whatever. But I mean, I have a pair. So the next pair of shoes I actually got for my birthday 
are the St. Paddy's Day Dunks. I showed you guys these before, I believe. Um, I really, really like this shoe. I am like a really big fan of this shoe right here. Like it, got, again, got the St. Paddy's logo on it. Um, my dad actually won these in a raffle at a retail store and uh, surprised me with it for my birthday. And he knows too, my dad, is a, my dad is a true sneakerhead. So my dad's had just about every shoe in almost every colorway that I can even imagine. I remember when I was younger, uh, my dad used to collect Air Forces. So my dad used to have a bunch of all white Air Forces with different check, with different colored check marks. So you know, like back, I don't know if you guys are old enough, but back in the day, um, Nike released a lot of high top Air Forces. My dad had all the Air Forces with the color check, red, blue, the whole nine. That's when niggas was wearing True Religions and Lacoste polo tees with the, with the, with the alligator on it. Um, so my dad picked these up for me. I like these. I really, I've only wore these once too. Um, but again, they're like sharp green and gold, bro. They're hard to wear. But I wore these. Uh, I wore these on a date with my girl recently, for the first time. So the next shoe I got after the Foam Runners were the Jordan One Low Mystic Blue. I showed you guys again. The rest of these shoes I've showed you before, um, but I actually just haven't had a chance to like look at what I've got, what I've caught this year. Um, so these, the Jordan One Mystic Blues. These. This is a super clean shoe, um, and actually some back, some background of this particular shoe in regards to like the Jordan One Lows. Um, this shoe was actually styled to look just like a Jordan 1 high and is designed exactly how the Jordan high, which, was, which I have one right here too, I'll show you guys the difference. Um, but again, it has the original Nike Air logo on it here. But the Jordan, again, I lace walk from black to white. I like the way the white looks. Super clean shoe, super simple shoe to rock. I haven't really, I've only wore this shoe like once. I actually wore it that one day in my vlog. I, that's the last time I wore this shoe. Um, but I really, this is one of my favorite pickups this year. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, and again, this is in correspondence to the, the next four pair of shoes I'm gonna show you. This is one of my favorite pickups. So after I picked up the Mystic Blues, I actually ended up winning another raffle for a pair of dunks at the same retail store that I won the raffle at for the St. Paddy's Day dunks. Um, but the Nike SB Cherries, these are dope. I actually, wow. I just realized something for the first time. These actually have a little cherry mark, a cherry symbol on the inside. But the Nike SB Dunk Cherries, I, I like this shoe too. Um, I was super skeptical on the shoe when I saw my pictures at first. I just like wasn't a fan of like the two-tone red. I didn't really like the maroon too much, but this is a dope ass shoe. I wore this to the fair a few weeks ago. Um, but again, this is a super simple shoe, like nothing too crazy about it in my personal opinion. Um, how do I, okay, so I need to talk about this. So this is what a modern day Dunk looks like, like the, the modern day Nike Dunk. And this is like the original shape or frame of like a, the Nike SB Dunk. Do I prefer like this or this? I don't really know. Like I think it's all like predicated to color style and like the way I'd rock the shoe. I like the thickness of the tongue. I like the roundness of the shoe. It's like a little bulky, which is really, really clean. Um, and they're real sturdy. So that's why I like this shoe. But I also like this shoe because it's super sleek. It's clean, you know. It gives me, it kind of reminds me of Jordan 1 Low, but not really too much like a Jordan 1 Low in my you know. It's a little bulky, but again, if I were to, to compare and contrast like what I like more, like the OG SB or like the modern SB, I think I'd probably go with the OG SB more just because I like the frame, the style of the shoe. Just as my personal opinion. I mean, you guys let me know. What do you guys like? Well, what do you guys prefer? Like all my sneakerheads, you guys prefer like the OG SBs? I feel like just if I'm like gonna bring like some sort of bias to this channel, I feel like if you're a real sneakerhead, you probably enjoy the OGs more than you enjoy the new stuff. But I mean, it's just, it's all, again, it's shoe style and shoe preference is all, it's all subject to whatever you like. So I like them both, but I like this a little more than I like this. this, this. I guess well, the last three pickups that I'm gonna show you guys um, were all, these are all hype shoes. These are all shoes that I'm super proud to be like an owner of now. But the first of the three, Obviously the Travis Scott Lowe's, the Fragment Lowe's. I showed you guys these when I got them. Super duper happy about these. Hey, one thing about me is I wear my shoes. Um, one thing my pops always taught me was that scuff marks give shoe character. Um, so again, I told you guys I won this shoe in a raffle. I paid 75 bucks for a raffle entry and then I ended up winning the shoes, which I was super duper, like I was ecstatic for. So I was sitting fucking waiting on, thirsty waiting for the mailman to come drop these off. I wear this shoe a lot actually, I'm not even gonna hold you. I wear this shoe uh, like quite often. I probably wear this shoe like once every two weeks or maybe once every two and a half weeks. I'm still sad I didn't hit on the on the new Travis Scott that came out, but then I just seen that there's two other colorways really. I don't know, bro. Uh, at this point, I don't even give a fuck about those. The next pickup, which is the shoe I showed you in my last vlog, were 
the Union, the Jordan 1 Unions. Uh, but what I really like about this shoe, before I get this fucking hair off of it, what the fuck? Um, what I really, really like about the shoe is, is the two-tone laces. It's so gives gives the shoe so much more character than I even realized. But I really, really, really like this shoe. I don't again. I don't even like Jordan ones like that. I don't like high top shoes like that. This may be the only high top shoe I have in my collection right now, as of like today. I've tried this shoe on. I put it on with a fit. And I'm like, oh, bro, like these these bitches still smell good. Damn. So yeah, unions. And then last but not least shoe that came in the mail for me yesterday actually which i have a story behind um i actually got in a little bit of trouble just because i got this shoe with the last shoe which i also got in trouble with that shoe too but this by size i got in a little bit of trouble i wasn't really supposed to be spending money on the shoes when i did um and again if i can offer any advice to anyone who's in like a serious relationship to where you guys live with each other full transparency i didn't like not tell her i was getting them but I just didn't tell her I was getting them. So like, that's not appropriate, you know? I can hold myself accountable to my own mistakes. So I, again, if my, when my girl watches this, she's gonna be like, this nigga, bro. I told her I didn't need, 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 need. But yeah, she told me. I got them though. I got them. And I'm happy I got them. So, the last shoe from my latest pickup to close before I close this video out. The Union Jordan 4s. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I'm, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm like utterly speechless. Let me give you like a little close up. Boom. You feel me? Union Force. Boom. This shoe. Um, I don't even know what to say about this shoe. This is my latest pickup as of yesterday, as of like less than 24 hours ago. Maybe actually, maybe it might have been 24 hours because when I got back from the gym, they were already here. So yeah. Um, but yeah, those are the sneakers that I've picked up so far this year. Um, will I be buying any more shoes? Not anytime soon, <laughs> not anytime soon, just so I don't get, you know, in no more trouble. Um, but yeah, those are, those are my shoes. I got those. I have a few more pairs that I just had upstairs. And I've gotten rid, I've dwindled, I've dwindled down my collection a little bit just because, like, I don't want to have, I want to have a lot of shoes, but I want to have a lot of shoes that I like. And not just shoes that I'm harboring because of like, you know, sentimental value. So that's the vlog. Um, I want to get into a good rhythm of like posting more content, even if it's like short five, six, seven, eight minute vlogs of just like simple shit like my sneakers. So I want to implement more fashion stuff in here too so I can show you guys where I shop at, how I dress, how I like, how I style my clothes and where I found my fashion sense, like my, you know, inspirations, out like fit, in, fit, fit inspirations, outfit inspirations, is that what they call? Whatever, I don't know. But that's pretty much it. Um, next week I have, oh, 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 bro, I meant to mother, I'm, oh, let me put this up, I meant to, let me come closer, I, you guys. I meant to tell you guys too, bro, I meant to tell you guys too, so, in two vlogs ago I told you guys that I hadn't heard back from Panasonic, right, dog, yesterday I got an approval that I got the actual sponsorship, the actual deal, I, I, I fucking landed the brand deal, bro, my biggest brand deal yet. Um, Panasonic. So they're actually sending me Panasonic wireless beats that I'm gonna make content for. That I'm I'm already game planning about it. Um, I actually heard back from the from the Panasonic rep yesterday, um, and she sent me. She's like, I have exciting news for you. You know, you got the you got the we we approve you for the brand deal. Um, we're gonna send you out a pair of the headphones and oh, fuck. Um, I want you to start game planning content now. So when you can shoot the content. Ooh, uh, you know, a great, great, great payout. Uh, I believe the brand is going to be over a course of a period of time. So like, but, oh, I'm so, again, like, I, again, I haven't even like expressed how grateful I am for like all the opportunities that are continuing to come my way. Um, Instagram, we just broke 19.1K on Instagram. Yesterday, we also broke 300 subs on YouTube. So again, the, the, the family is growing, the team is growing, everything is growing. Um, and again, I can't even be, I can't even express my gratitude for it. Like, again, I, I, I talked about it yesterday on my Instagram a little bit, just how grateful I am to be able to just like be myself in front of a camera, um, and like motivate people and inspire people and entertain people. Like that's all I've ever wanted to do, like was to really be someone to like potentially change the world. Like we all have the abilities and the power to change the world. It's like whether we act upon our, our God given gifts and talents or whether we just let them fucking go, you know? Um, and I had to go through a lot of bullshit with like a lot of people that I actually care about a lot 
just to kind of get comfortable with myself doing what I do and like overcoming a lot of like the you know my insecurities and like everything so from the bottom of my heart guys I appreciate you guys we had three I, actually I didn't even check how many subs we're at we're at 309 subscribers when I posted my last vlog we were at 274 today we're at 309 uh, so again the next goal is to get four and then five and then six and then we're breaking a thousand and then from that point forward it's like it's gonna be an ongoing thing so again um, before I close this vlog out I want to say thank you guys for 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 being super supportive and being like open to like allowing me to be myself like I said before um, my next vlog I guess I'll give you guys more details about the brand deal with Panasonic I'll give you guys some insight on what I'm doing to acquire more brand deals I still have yet to make that video like I promised um but i'm gonna close it out here so it's again it's friday august 12th i hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend it's your boy dave i gotta pack all these sneakers up and put it back in my fucking room but i'll catch y'all later peace